Jaden and Mont meet fiercely in battle. But the difference in their forces was great. Body and spirit battered, Mont is taken into Ova's castle to recover. Seeing this, Luciel reveals her inner intentions. Her true identity is Shalza, the second of the Ovis sisters. What Shalza desired was to obtain a second ring for herself. But with the failure of her plans, she abandons Ovis castle and takes flight. Determined to learn the whereabouts of the true Luciel, Oberon pursues. The army of Rundal remains. Surrounded by the overwhelming numbers of the Sanctum's army, led by Sodaly. We have received word that your commands have been sent to all regions. All, you say? Yes. From Walmar Village to the east, to the old Likoros Township of Fortis to the west. Good. Then, our preparations are complete. Yes, Your Holiness. If I may voice my concerns, should Oberon claim the ring from Shalza and regroup with Rundal? Yes, I suppose that to some degree it is possible matters will grow complicated. To some degree? I exchanged words with Oberon not so long ago, and he proved to be a most fascinating individual. A lost child, with a heavy darkness in his heart, wandering in search of the light. I have encountered many such as he in my time. They all walk their paths to a similar destination. I have faith that Oberon will choose a course that does not disappoint me. The final extraction of magic from the Crystal of Leonis shall soon be complete at long last. From there, our next course of action will be to claim the crystal hidden within Rundal. Once I have attained all the magical power that can be harnessed, we shall begin the battle to end all. All the pawns are where they belong on the stage, and the curtains have been drawn. Gilgamesh, will it be you or I who survives our final act? Brother, ah! Ugh, not again. You keep running out of breath because you got that grimy looking garbage sack on your head, you know? Garbage sack? You might be my brother, but that's crossing the line, huh? This is a memento from my mama. You know what happens when I don't wear this, huh? Yeah, yeah, I know. Then why'd you have to go and call it a garbage sack, huh? I, I shouldn't have said that. But it, it's just... We don't have much time. We need to get back to Nador before it's too late. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Forgive me, brother. Yeah, it's already a thing of the past. There's no way Sadly doesn't know we took one of the ancient relics. Which means... He might go out of his way to locate the village where our little Nador lives. If Sadly calls it a day of taking back the relic, then that's all well and good. But... Yeah. 
If anything were to happen to Nador... I don't think there'd be much to live for after that. That's not the life I want, huh? Let's go collect the ancient relic before the Sanctum shows up, grab Nador, and go find some place to hide until this blows over. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Brother, I know it'll be tough for you, but we gotta hurry. All the pain in the world is worth it for Nador, huh? Brother, what's going on here? Brother, I've got no idea. There's not a single soul in sight. Did the Sanctum beat us here? Ah, that can't be possible. Do you sense what I'm sensing? Oh, hell. Did they do this? Let's head over to Nador's house, huh? Good idea. No signs of a struggle here. No signs of not or either, huh? You... you really sure you want to do that? What do you mean? We don't have the slightest idea what's in that thing, huh? True, but it's the only lead we've got. Lead? If those Sanctum Curs had already been here... Oh, I get it. There's no way they wouldn't open a big old stone chest like this. This is, uh... Just a crusty dagger. Right? This is meant to be an ancient relic? Sure doesn't look like it, huh? Anyway, if the relic is still here, it has to mean the Sanctum didn't take Nador or the others. Did they leave the village on their own? Why would they do that? Beats me. But either way, we're going after them. By the look of things, I'd say they didn't disappear all that long ago. Damn it all the hell. There's still more of them. But this is as far as you go. I will hold the path to Ovis Castle with my life. <laughs> and now there's even more of them. You're... 
The Shinobi from Saiga. Are you sure you want to do this? Of course! King Rogza was an imposter. And we now know the truth behind Princess Luciel as well. Surely you have no reason to honor any obligations to Ovis anymore. You know, I said the same thing. What? Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure that you were the one hell-bent on coming to save Lady Lilith. C quiet you! That's not important right now. Thanks, you two. They are not the only aid Saiga has to offer. That voice! It's Ketone. Sorry I'm late, Lilith. More importantly, what of King Mont? You needn't worry. The worst is behind him. <sighs> Good. That puts me at ease. We've basically got the strength of a full division now that Ketone is here. And here I was thinking it was my turn to look good in battle. <laughs> this really brings back memories. I guess it does. I remember back when we hadn't been dispatched. We used to talk about how it would be nice if we all ended up serving the same kingdom. In that case, why don't you come join us? What? Even if we get through this, I'm pretty sure we will end up having to face Rundal. It would be reassuring to have you on our side when the time comes. <sighs> What's wrong? That's really generous of you to say. But there's something that we have to go deal with. I see. Here they come. None shall pass. I swear it on my life. Looks like they finally learned what's good for them. I think Rundal has turned their attention toward the Sanctum Army. That makes sense. Allow me to say this again, but... Thank you, Alem, Livial. <laughs> it turns out we can be pretty handy, huh? It goes without saying. Also, could you try acting a little more like a chief of Saiga for a change? What? You know I'm no good at that. Ugh. So, now it's Rundal versus the Sanctum. And it'd be nice if both armies would conveniently take each other down. Ugh. What's wrong, Ketone? I was just wondering why the Sanctum is here. And why now? <sighs> That's a mighty good question. But us standing around thinking about it isn't going to change anything. Well, we may as well go and enjoy the show for now. You two should join us at Ova's castle and get some rest. about that. Is something the matter? We really need to get moving. Right. You mentioned you've got something you have to deal with. Where will you go exactly? This is about Goga. That's right. Goga? We were already aware that they've been preparing for war. Preparing for war? But with whom? That is what we intend to find out. Okay. The Rundal soldiers have withdrawn. Yes, Your Highness. It would appear that they have turned their attention to the Sanctum. I see. 
So, in other words, this is the time for you to focus on recovering from your wounds. Yet, this could also be considered the perfect chance to strike at Rundal from both sides. Have you lost your mind? The danger has passed, but only for the time being. The day will come when Rundal invades Ovis once again. You must not push yourself. Listen. We cannot side with the Sanctum under any circumstances. In the War of Lion's Valley. That long, painful war began with Fenice's invasion and ended with the death of Moraga. Yet it was all orchestrated by the Sanctum. By Sodaly. I will never forgive him for what he has brought upon us. You. Melnia and Ranel. So the whispers are true. First, you abandoned Wizette, and now Ovis as well. What is your point? Long has Lady Melnia fought for Sodaly's interests. It is fine. They speak no lies. Every force you lend yourself to has met with defeat. But there is no cause for concern. For now that you serve the greatness of the Sanctum. What have you done?! Serve the Sanctum, you claim. You are delusional if you think I would ever serve a low-dweller such as Sodaly. He seems to want these pitiful lowlands for himself, so I am simply lending him my assistance. You dare call Lord Sodaly a low-dweller?! Do not misunderstand me. I do not speak of the Sanctum with disdain. After all, I stand here at its side. Lady Melnia, you need not explain yourself to the likes of these monks. I care not. That which I desire is Jaden's life and nothing else. At first, I had thought to claim a kingdom as my own and use it to bring ruin to Rundal. However, it would seem that Sodaly holds our capabilities in high regard. <sighs> A laughable notion. You no doubt found yourselves unable to strike down Jaden, and thus came crawling to the Sanctum. Insolent dog. Renel, let them yap as they please. Deep in their hearts, they know the truth. Now without relying on the strength of others, the Sanctum will never be a match for Rundal no matter how many followers I may amass. <laughs> we are done here. <laughs> this can only mean one thing. The damn Sanctum has gone and found themselves one hell of an artillery man. <laughs> to think there's someone out there who can catch Rundal under the heat of their cannons. Things are certainly getting interesting. Where are we with my cannons? 
The ones I had loaded onto the ship. They should be arriving here before long. Good man. One more thing. Find out who they have behind that cannon. As you wish. It's been a while since I've felt that kind of fire in my soul. Be that as it may, cannon fire from such a height leaves us at an extreme disadvantage. I guess we should buy ourselves some more time until we're ready to go cannon to cannon. King Jaden, the monks are yet to learn their lesson. Oh, so they've fearlessly begun their advance. Very well. Let's give them a fight for now. But don't forget about that infernal cannon. Always be ready for it. Yes, Your Highness. Ah, so the man behind the cannon is from Wazette. Yes, he was formerly of Wazette's second division, Styria. Let me guess, Commander Abbott. You are familiar with him? Quite so. That kind of accuracy with a cannon is a feat far beyond the capabilities of your average artilleryman. Damn that Sodaly. He's found himself quite the catch. You believe Abbott to be worthy of such praise? I always considered the most vexing obstacle in Eastern Ardra to be Wazette. There were two reasons for it. One was the now destroyed Ice Golem. The other was the presence of the second division, Styrie. I was wondering what became of them after Wazette was crushed. So, Sadali concentrates his forces for this battle. Indeed, it seems he has chosen this as the place to settle things. Whether or not we had Heimler at our side, something tells me he would have committed to this battle either way. He has such confidence in emerging victorious, I find it hard to believe. I know. We've gone at it with the Sanctum on more than a few occasions. But never has Sodaly shown himself on the front lines. Did the cowardly Sodaly steal his resolve to stand on the battlefield solely because of Abbott? Do you think there could be others who have sided with him? I really don't know, but I'd say it's highly possible. Hmm. I've got a feeling this battle isn't going to be a straightforward affair. I shall bear that in mind. I expect Crucium to produce results, but under no circumstances are you to show brashness or complacency. Sodaly is not to be underestimated. Understood? Yes, Your Highness. I'd wager he has something hidden behind his horde of monks. Just you wait. I'll make him play his hand whether he wants to or not. King Jaden. Hey, take a look at that cannon. The cannon? The one just in front of the fortress. I'd never seen one of that design before. Ah, that must be the new model they say is the pride and joy of Styrie. A new model? Rundal is unchallenged in the realm of guns and their application. However, it's a slightly different story when it comes to artillery. Wazette introduced the concepts of magic into their cannons to drastically extend their range. They applied magic to their cannons? It seems they're using the same magical amplification techniques that they employed with the former crux of their defense, the Ice Golem. That cannon will be the key to Rundal attaining even greater power. Lucia, you still around? Here, Your Highness. Our cannon will be arriving shortly. And as much fun as it would be to have an all-out exchange of roaring artillery with them, doing so would end up destroying that cannon of theirs. Then the objective is to capture it instead? Can you do it? 
I will take Calorum and attack from the western slope. A little skirmish action away from the main force, huh? All right, do it. And take as much ammunition as you need. Yes, your highness. We will draw their attention while Calorum approaches the cannon by the fortress. However, you best be prepared for Calorum to also be targeted. Understood, your highness. Should it come to that, we shall then focus on maintaining their attention instead. Reassuring as always. We'll still go all out to make sure that doesn't happen, though. Calorum shall depart at once! I'm looking forward to my new cannon. I hope you don't plan on letting Lucia steal the show. I would not dream of it. What do we have here? That jaded is up to something dubious. Something dubious, you say? I just greeted them with an iron gift from the heavens, did I not? You did, yes. From the looks of it, they are yet to prepare cannons of their own which would mean the standard course of action at this point would be to move out of firing range. An understandable tactic. One which they adopted for a brief moment, but did they commit to it? No. Quite the opposite, in fact. And what do you believe to be their reason for this? A fine question. I would wager they mean to draw our attention. So, you mean to say they have an ulterior objective? Who knows? The finer points of their scheme are beyond me. My natural instincts simply tell me there is something afoot. But in any case, should they advance foolishly and avoid a strategy... <laughs> It shall be an easy task to dispose of them. I see. Jaden plans a master stroke. <laughs> it shall be quite interesting to see what he has in store for us.